That works for me. All right, we are live. This is the third fireside chat, I think. Yeah, we'll go with third. Yeah. I think we'll so. Just, if, if it's wrong, we'll just edit the history later. Don't worry about it. <laughs> But, yeah, basically, in the past, I mean, uh, we just gotta get everyone in a room and then just talk about stuff. I suppose there is quite a lot of things to talk about nowadays. Yeah, I mean, uh, pretty much all of them we talked about, basically. The, uh, oh, one sec, switch to voice activity, okay, um... Basically, all of them we talk about, basically, this new system we've been working on. So we've been working on it for at least a month, probably longer. So, so what drove you guys to decide that, hey, we need a new system? Like, why, what, what was the conversation that led to, like, let's try and rework this? I actually... I don't remember exactly, but I think it was Solite who kind of said something that made me think of it, but he, he said he has a bunch of screenshots of, like, the early, like, ideas of this, so maybe he has some idea if he stops by, but... I believe it was that, like, these changes started with an argument of whether or not we wanted more order... W, I think. Ah, yeah, because like I like the idea. I, I'm, you know, when I was in charge of my own stuff, I always liked changing everything every now and again, just because I like building new things. But uh, that's why I'm seeking a reason for what's going on right now. I suppose you yeah, have some more order. I don't know. I kind of like it as it is now, but uh, you know, I've only known it as how it is. So perhaps in the past it was better. Yeah, I mean. Uh... I don't know. I mean, some of us guys have been around for like eight or nine or ten years or something. Feel that back when we had like all the naval ranks and it was more like there's a lot of like stuff you had to do, like saluting and sirs and ma'ams and all this stuff yeah. was like pretty in your face. And I don't know. I, I kind of have the feeling that that's not really doable right now. Like, well, that's what I was just, I'm vaguely worried about it because, I, you know, I wouldn't want to see, um, because it seems so hush-hush right now. I don't know how you guys are planning to unveil it, but it could be, like, a big shock for a lot of people. And I wouldn't want to see anybody, like, leave over, like, uh, simple, like, rank changes or stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons we were doing these is because, like, we are hoping to be, like, a little public about it, and I mean... Like, we let people, like, comment on the Twitch stream or come into a voice. And on yeah. only Knights and Squares can talk in here, but, I mean, they can listen and they can, like, message us on Discord or whatever. We need to, like, answer questions about it. Yeah, having a public forum is real, guys. Uh, it's a cool idea. Uh, I don't know. I, I just, uh, I wonder how we're going to implement these kind of things. Is it going to be, like, all at once or, like, slowly, like, one at a time or, like... I suppose before <laughs> I suppose that's a bit forward thinking because we haven't really figured out what we're going to implement at this point, have we? Well, we had it about ninety five percent done, and then uh, everybody started. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we just kind of got in, and it's, you know, a few different people were like, "Well, you know, I know about this actually," or you know, like talking about changes some things, which uh, y you know, I'm not, I'm totally fine with because I mean, if we're going to change stuff, we should definitely do it before we actually roll everything out. We just like. Keep fine tuning it till it's something that's really good before we release it. Actually, this is apparently Emperor's Fireside Chat number four. Now that I'm looking at the YouTube channel, oh, so okay. I can well, keep gonna... track of it. We'll go back and edit that in. Dude. Oh very, yes. Very uh, deliberate editing. Oh, actually, I uh, think. Oh yeah, I still have this titled a second Icer Invitational, unfortunately, but. That was good fun. But, uh, I always forget how hard writing is. Writing is? What are you writing right now? Oh, My uh, story in WA.
Oh, you're writing a story. Oh, cool. Yes, I've been reading through the stories as uh, as my um. What did, what did we uh, agree on, Conan? Was it Daddy? Yeah, as Daddy told me to uh, you know, read through it. Uh, pretty pretty interesting stuff. Uh, cool to see uh, what was going on back then. But it did seem incredibly unstable. Like, there was a there was a lot of issues. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of people having troubles. Yeah, it's true. It's kind of funny to like go back to the old editors and read and then like you look at it now it's like damn we're pretty uh pretty stable considering yeah there's no, not actual a coup just no, some just... guy joking about it <laughs> yeah well it's just so some kind of like joking. um like justification for changes because i think it's really quite nice right now but i could see uh like i do think there should be some changes mainly just more organization in the sense of getting together I feel like it's quite the community right now. I think it could be a lot better if, like, uh, a lot more engaging for people to, like, look at WA and be like, hey, those guys seem cool. I'd like to join them if we were more than just people who uh, occasionally played games together when somebody was brave enough to post in the mead hall, hey, does somebody want to play with me? <laughs> I think we could, if we had some organization, it might be easier to get involved. Um, like when we do our ten v uh ten v ten five v five customs, it's it's the familiar faces you see each time. And I know there's a bunch of other people here, and maybe they don't have league, but maybe they just don't feel like uh maybe they feel intimidated by having like twelve people all in a custom or twelve people all in a all in like a voice channel without any reason. Like it's I used to be kind of worried about that back when I was vaguely newish to you guys i was like oh wow there's a lot of people in there you know it seems like something important i better not intrude there was like uh it's more active well if there was some more like i don't know how to put this but like more event organization it might coax some people who don't normally play with everybody to play with everybody because they yeah. know it was like organized and you know there wouldn't be it wouldn't be like uh, just a friends thing yeah, I feel like sometimes, I don't know, this seems with like most people, they participate in an event and they get upset when they lose, it's like, no, I'm not playing with those guys again. Yeah. I don't know. I like, I like custom uh, 5v5s, I enjoy doing them, but they, they do seem to be a catalyst for um, a lot of bad feelings after it. Like, I feel like the last one, we had some new guys in there, and I'm pretty sure they were unhappy with the result of that game. So I think it's because we're too competitive. Yeah. I, I know for one that I can't really take losing in 5v5s. I don't like it. Which probably makes me not the best player to play with. That's just how I play League. We need maybe a more casual game? Or maybe just a game that uh, we could get everybody involved, but on the same side. I wonder. Yeah, I'm not sure. He's online, but it's not in the channel. Hmm. Look at this. Look at this. Only one night shows up, Vest. And I'm not saying that you should, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, demo everybody about Conan, but, you know, it's an idea. Uh, I mean, I have to show up. It was scheduled today for me. <laughs> yeah. Abby. Yeah, I don't know. Well... Not a lot of people. That means we get to make all the decisions, right? And then we told we could say that you know they could have been here, but they weren't. <laughs> Let, exactly. Let's make one of the big decisions right now. All right. First rule. Uh, uh, old ranks. Uh, confirmed bad. Yes. Shadow council. No more ranks. Just uh, shadow council. <laughs> Nobody knows who's in power other than, uh, of course, Vest. And then uh, you know, winner takes all. <laughs> well. <laughs> We knew, um, Nuenor wouldn't be here. He said he would come an hour later. But I didn't want to change the time again, like, last minute. Because I just hate to, like, reschedule things last minute, because then you get tons of people always who will show up at the old time, and then be like, what? I also don't want to set, like, that kind of precedent as well. Yeah. 
but that does mean that like like there's what Solite was posting was like uh, we should reschedule it now and it's like but you say that like 40 minutes before we're supposed to meet you know some people might have made plans around being here yeah but uh yo Vest I was gonna ask as someone who who is writing stories for the new lore I guess what what do you do when you're writing these stories like where do you get the ideas for them uh I mean what are you writing it about Because uh, when I think back about what I've done in my old communities, I think I could probably, you know, I, I remember it just enough that I could start embellishing things about it that make me look good, and then that's pretty much a story. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, like, I mean, like, Saga of the Stone Star is, like, I mean, uh, is... The very initial idea was based on most of the stone stars leaving and like the disagreements and stuff with that, but it basically the entire story is just like made up, like the actual events in there. Whoa, you saying that the stories aren't a hundred percent facts? <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, I Saga of the Stone Stars takes a lot of liberties. Because the actual events weren't that exciting. I mean, it wasn't like a giant battle. It was just like a arguments, a couple of arguments over a long period of time, and eventually a group of people just leaving. But, I I mean, it was a, like, significant event over the last, like, two years, so I thought it would be cool to write something about it, but I've been lazy about continuing yeah. to write it. See, that's what, WA, we don't need more organization, we need more drama so we can write more stories. <laughs> so we need to incite conflict. That's what we need to do. It's the perfect plan. Uh, there you go. Let's just demote one of the knights that's not me, and then and we'll just see when see they notice. They do. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, oh, I oh, oh, didn't notice. Write a story on it and promote him back. Boom. Oh no no no. They on, they have to read the story and then uh, accept that everything in there is truth before they get promoted back, including <laughs> all of the lying that will be why they got demoted. <laughs> uh. No. Well, we've got three people. Is that enough people to start discussing uh, the deep, fundamental issues with WA? Sure. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's going pretty well right now. These tournament stuffs are nice. Wish I... Uh, I don't think League's the best for tournaments. Or maybe I'm just not the best at League tournaments. Most of my champions aren't really the um, 5v5 kind of guys. I play assassins. And they don't really work in organized places. Or <laughs> oh, I'm just bad. Eva Eva's true from the list at this point. I mean, I feel good as an AD carry main because I'll have guys that actually put effort into healing for me. Yeah, you, I hate that. Just just let me kill the AD carry. Come on. You know, you know, you know that they're annoying, right? Let me help you out. I gotta say, the least, these tourneys help you practice assassins, I've found. Yeah, it's just you gotta you're be... You're forced to be more creative. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the early laning phase. I don't know, the fact that diamonds can't be in it uh, now is nice. Um, so a lot of the times the best guys would go mid lane, and I just feel a little intimidated. Because it's, when it's a 5v5 with people who want to win, and I want to win, I don't want to be the guy to, like, you know, mess up. Like, in, in the game we played, uh, the second game for my team, like, there was, like, a enemy Fizz who just went, like, just hard beaded, and I just felt really bad for the guy. Because, like, he's probably the champion he likes playing, and he tried to take it into this kind of affair, and he was just playing against somebody who was just really quite good on uh, an anti-assassin champion. So that's what I kind of oh. fear about in, uh, tournaments. That's what I, but, you know, that's, like, a specific case. And I'd say jungle, anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's that's the reason why I had like when Slip and then we're making like the first invitational. I was like, you know, I I feel like diamonds shouldn't be allowed. I feel like it should just be platinum lower, just because it's like it's hard, especially in a community where everyone's um, competitive. Yeah, I think you, that's a problem. 
you, like... you don't want to participate if there's somebody in there who's very clearly like tears ahead of you. Yeah, yeah. I feel like maybe um, in the future we could do like kind of small attorneys based on like entirely in one division. But then I don't know if there's enough plat players to have a plat division. It would be kind of unfair for the plat players. But I know there'd be enough to, to do like silver or gold or bronze. And then it would be much more. It would be much more competitive. I think it would also be much more fun. Because I liked playing uh, with my team. But I knew there was like. There was two guys on my team that were like worlds better than me. I was pretty good. I'm not saying I was bad. But I was playing champions with the explicit concern of like, yeah, alright, this guy's better than me. I better help him win the game for me. And I just don't. You know. <laughs> didn't make it's me feel too good about myself. Set that first game. I'm a god on Rek'Sai, apparently. It's kind of weird for me when I when I play in these tourneys, because, like, I feel I can hold my own versus, like, flat players. Like, I won't feed. Sometimes I'll get ahead. Most of the time I just go even. But, like, it's weird when I go from that, and then I go play solo queue, and it's just, like, I just don't do as well. Because I feel like I'm expecting my support to do what, like, the plat yeah, player yeah. would do. Yeah, well, that... 5v5s versus, like, solo queue is quite the different experience. I know, it's so weird. But, uh, I like, I'm enjoying them. I'm just picking up new champions just to play four turns. Like, I'm, I'm playing Ivern, who's just, just fun to play. And I, you know, I would never think, I always thought that I only liked a very specific type of champion. And it's probably true, I like assassins the most. But uh, my time with Rek'Sai has told me that, you know, I can play other types of champions if I want. So that's cool. So it's letting me branch out. I just like wish I... there was... Um... And I feel like League is like an inherently competitive game, and that doesn't really work so well for like... If we want to be a united community, and we want to be competitive... Like, we want to be competitive against other people, I think. Otherwise, we have issues like that last custom game where... I think there was just two or three people that came out of it thinking, God, I just don't want to play custom games again. And it's like, I don't, you know, it's it's like, nobody wants that out there. Yeah, like, I feel people... like League has it inevitably. Yeah, like, I've, people also go into those customs on different pages. Yeah. Like, there's the guy that's gonna try super hard to, like, win, and then there's a the guy like me. I pick Yasuo because I just want to dick around. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I I feel like I only play League one way. I mean, I don't I, like. I'm competitive, but I have fun when I'm like I'm, when I'm playing League to have fun. I'm playing competitively. I don't like just messing around. Or generally, when I do mess around, I still try to win. That's just generally how I play competitive games. I've always been quite competitive about it. That's generally how I play when it's not customs yeah because like i don't want to go hard in a custom and then have someone like well, somebody was here for a second yeah that was brander no uh, brand is, is he allowed in there i suppose this is locked for specific reasons i'm not sure how this channel works uh you can join you just can't talk if you're not an iron squire oh okay well <sighs> I feel like we just need, if we want to do like a group get together, we need to find a game to do it on, right? League just isn't that game. Uh, I mean, we can yeah. have like side by side 5 be like normals, like uh, 5 people with another 5 people and just playing two different games, but then I think it would just get hectic. Uh, yeah. I mean, most people just want to play League though, like that's where most yeah. of our people has come from, and like... That's why I think organizing five, um, like five bands would be an, an idea to get me more people active, because like the tourney I had a lot of fun in it just because I was with five people, we all wanted to win, but we were all having fun together, it was like great. It's like, I didn't know any of the people I walked into in uh, on Summoner's Rift, if you will. But after getting to semi-finals together, doing our all, and maybe, you know, we didn't win, but, you know, I friended everybody on that list, and we were like, yeah, let's do this again sometime. That was really cool. I feel like that kind of bonding could happen more often if we did, like, organized stuff more often, outside of tourneys, maybe just 5v5, uh, not 5v5, uh, like, 5 mans in, like, flex or ranked or whatever. I don't know. I feel like that would be cool. 
Because I like playing with all you guys, but there's so many other people in here that I've like never, never even seen before. And I'd like to, you know, meet them and play with them because I'm sure they're nice people. I just feel like there's not a lot of opportunities for that unless I like directly single them out and be like, you should play with me. And then, I don't know, that feels kind of awkward. Yeah, do you feel like maybe it should be like a night, night's goal to kind of spread out and play with these members who aren't necessarily part of the main group? Because we have like the guys that play together all the time. Like I play with Best Neo all the time, but like mm. I don't think I've ever really queued up with Gang Lee for you or any yeah, of these I other think, guys. I think that would be a good thing for a night. And I think that'll be a good thing for anybody in like a leadership position, like in the future. Just to um, actively engage with everybody and not just stick to a single fleet, which I think is what's just going on now is like. We stick together, you know, there's the core active guys, and I think we come off as so, like, we're so close as, like, friends that somebody who doesn't know, like, the dynamics coming in might be really awkward, because, you know, before I knew Fold that well, I mean, him and Soul Light were just at, at each other's throats, and I felt, like, legitimately uncomfortable, because I was like, do these guys, like, hate each other? Like, you know, <laughs> it just seemed a bit weird. But, like, uh, through exposure, I was, you know, I got used to it, and now, now I'd go along with it, and it's a lot of fun. I just feel like a lot of people can't get past that first hurdle, and I think if we put, like, some active work into it, so, like, make it so, like, the knights, you know, you can always talk to them. So, like, um, when, to, when like, Solite and Foldmap are joking around, I, as just some other guy, would like to, like, invoke, like, hey, man, you're a knight, like, could you tell me what's going on here? Like, I'm just feeling a bit left out. And having that as a precedent would be nice. Only the very coolest. <laughs> Everybody's bullying me in text. Why don't they come in here, huh? Say it to my face, Bolt. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I just think that would be an idea if we wanted to keep to lead to just expand the group. But we'd always be limited in getting like get-togethers. We could never have 20 people playing together. It's just League isn't that kind of game, unfortunately. Uh, so does anybody else want to talk? Hello, sorry for being late. Hey, oh, people. Nice. Unfortunately, uh... I was in the middle of doing something, so I couldn't actually, uh... I couldn't actually attend prior, so apologies for that. That's right. But something about, um... So, when League players, like the brand new League players that are coming in now, like, join, we're not, like, everyone keeps like looking for the people that they always play with in order to get an invite. Like Khan is usually messaging people rather than like doing out well players, even though he does do it sometimes, but he's usually looking for like for the people that he's usually used to playing with. I'm guilty of the same thing as I'm I'm usually asking people whenever like we're talking about something else, I say, Hey, you wanna play league and then I just go straight to playing league with them instead of asking uh, like some of these other people. So they aren't being directly invited, and yeah. they're not always, like, they could be easily away from the computer for, like, five minutes, come back, find that uh, the LoL players was paying five minutes ago, but, uh, like, obviously they weren't here, so they think, oh, well, they, they must have already started by now. There's no point in you trying to reply. Yeah. So a good way to, to do it would be to rather, instead of at lol pinging players try to message someone personally that also requires like a lot of initiative from the, the people to specifically get players that way a uh, yeah. good way to like to do it would be to set up a specific night to or a person or something to specifically play with the new newer players to welcome them into the fold match i mean to the well, one of the goals of this new system is to make sure everyone get is involved, and that's why, like, we have people divide up into squads because every master sergeant who's in charge of a squad is also responsible with gaming with all the people in that squad. So, ideally, it's supposed to make sure that there's less people left out because we're kind of 
organized in that way, so everyone's keeping an eye on some of them. I kind of like that idea. That doesn't but it's sound because... bad, but that does, yeah, as the, it forces you into a, a group. Like, it basically says, welcome to high school. You are labeled because of the way that you joined this high school. You're now a jock. So go hang out with these other jocks. You're not talking to the cheerleaders. You're not talking to the to the chess club. You're not talking to the. Well, first of all, why would you talk to the chess club? Uh, <laughs> well, hold on. <laughs> but you're not talking cool. to the to the art club or anything like that. I hey, I love chess too. I I joined a chess club. I'm not gonna get into that. That's the first way I won at chess. Point is, is, I kept talking to the guy who was playing against is, me, and he'd stop paying attention eventually. Regardless of the uh, regardless of the system, we should be actively going out to talk to and game with people who we don't normally game with. Because if we only stick to the people that we're gaming with in the squadrons, then that just creates the same problem of people are playing in their own little cliques. I mean, it kind of comes a precedent of you don't need to at lol ping players. You could just message squadron member A, B, and C. Those are the people that you'll be playing with. So Honestly, I wouldn't mind that too much. People. It still falls on the people, though, to go outside of the squadrons to invite. Because like if that is, if that would be the system of where we only play with the people in the squadrons, then I do have a problem with that. Because it just sections us off to only play with those in the squadron, and it that sucks. Is like we're supposed to be like. A huge gaming community why are we only like forcing ourselves to play with like three people well i think that's um like you talk about initiative and i feel like that's a perfect idea to put that to the knight role because they're supposed to you know about all high leadership roles where you know you're expected to have that initiative joining it yeah so it would it would help a lot and it, it would be make sense that leadership roles would like get people together and yeah. like branch out and grab as many people as they can and they should feel confident enough if you're in that kind of leadership role you should feel confident enough speaking to somebody you don't know very well and you know that would feel like a perfect fit for knights to be able to bring us all together in a way that isn't necessarily formalized but it falls on the um there's no like formal practice there's no like squadrons but there are people who have the ability to get a bunch of people together to play a game as one of their responsibilities. I like right. that. Good idea. And that's the other solution, is to have someone like that. And it doesn't even have to be just exclusively that person. Other knights can show initiative by doing the same thing. This way it's not just one person uniting everybody, but I mean, even then, one person uniting everybody would be enough. Yeah. So, how's the the stream and going so far what do you mean well I just joined so I'm curious on how the rest of it's been uh, I mean, standing out we've been having a grand old time yeah this way. oh there goes that guy <laughs> so do we have like specific topics we're supposed to speak about um, not so much this time, I mean, I don't know, it seems like we can just kind of talk about whatever. We just like we're doing every week, and, and oftentimes we're talking about things in the all thing, and then like, we're going to get hashed out by then, I mean, I guess we could talk about oaths if you guys want to, since we haven't really done that in a fireside chat yet, and that was sort of a contentious topic, this idea that of making members take an oath, like at a certain rank, or just to officially join the clan, or whatnot. I don't really have too much of an opinion, it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's just wording that someone can say. I mean, it, it has, like, in terms of, like, a roleplay aspect of, uh, the old StarCraft maps of RP, where someone would, like, roleplay out a character. It's a fun little thing to do, but I don't really have anything else more specific to say about it. It's, it is what it is. I suppose, yeah, he is right. It's like, it's quite basic, and that's why I think like, the orbs would make the most sense if we want to include them, to package them with the rule system. Because then we could, we could fashion orbs as 
it's like the, uh, the rules of our server, but you know, it's a cultural thing, right? So when you join, you promise to abide the rules, and the rules are wrapped in an oath, and we'll hold you to that oath. Which is pretty much just you saying, yeah, I'll abide by all of the rules when I play with you guys. It doesn't need to be anything more complicated than that. I think the real problem is uh, when people start perceiving the orbs as like, really quite binding and they're very specific. Um, I think if we ever have an ov, or if we um, if we want to have a general ov, it needs to be like general. Maybe we could have like specific ofs for like knights or something. How uh, do... that could be an idea, but how does everyone know. feel about the like the view I had for uh, for Vikings? Uh, let's see. Let me read up on that. Is that the space one? Uh, well, no, other people have been saying space, but basically, the way I mentally have always envisioned WA oh, is that yeah, yeah. we live on an island, and that island used to be the forums, in a sense, and that it was like a safe haven. There was no threats, no enemies. Sometimes some people would wash up and try to threaten it, but it was an incredibly rare occurrence, and at most, our warriors, like, when the forums were down, I would envision it as, like, oh, our warriors are currently, uh, fending off some attackers in multiple fronts so please stand by before you actually are able to talk with others in yeah. the meat hall for example so i've always envisioned it as the forums as being this giant island our home our safe haven and then our primary like action place of action was like starcraft a, an entirely different island that was nearby and you'd sail out to StarCraft, and that would be, like, your journey to join the StarCraft channel. And, uh, you know, you, like, you go out to play games, and you're going out to specific fronts on the island to, to like, do whatever. Like, so let's say you were playing, like, uh, Diplo Infinity or whatever. Like, you were going through uh, either, you could call it a simulation of uh, battle tactics or someone threatening an outpost WA wanted and you're just trying to expand and temporarily expand and conquer them or whatever. Like every map uh, at StarCraft that we played on is its own little area on the island. And for Summoner's Rift, for example, disputes are happening between WA and other random people or uh, WA warrior and other random people. So he recruits his own random people to help him fight off these foes. But in my vision, it's still more of a WA exclusive on that. WA side. So the Summoner's Rift battle is the WA warriors fighting off some random invaders or random monsters known as randoms. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the way I've always envisioned WA is us as land Vikings, I guess, based on the fact that everyone's throwing around their terms of space Vikings or other land Vikings. And I think we could be god Vikings or regular Vikings if we're on land. Like it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, the only reason I bring up God Vikings is the name is just no. Warriors of Azir is is pretty much God Vikings. No, right. Uh, from the what little I've read, it seemed like the there was like a miscommunication in the distinction between the two. I yeah. don't remember who or if that's even what was so, actually read as such yeah. implied. Well, I like that idea. I think has a lot of merit to have like oh to think of the WA as not just, oh, we're not just one game kind of idea, like, you know, setting out. We, you know, WA being an island, always being somewhere to return home to where it was safe. Having something like that, that's a really cool idea. And um, I think it, it's a great way to, like, introduce other lore aspects of, like, for example, some of the stories that you could write of, like, an exploit on the in the 1v1 tournament, for example. Uh, all of us getting together on a similar rift in the League of Legends island competing for who is the greatest warrior among them. And, you know, like, the winner... Like, you could literally write a story about it based in that kind of theoretical world. Yeah. That's cool. That's a cool way of thinking about it. But does it help us, um, like, deal with, like, what our theme should be? Are you saying that should be our theme? Like kind it's, of, it just it's like, a way to hmm. say I don't want our theme to to go too far away from Norse because of yeah. that envisionment I have of WA. Like yeah. if we if we become some 
use some kind of like military ranking system and it's actual u.s military ranking system it, it, it does just take away yeah that's what i, I was like it feels like it destroys kind of one. it feels yeah. like it destroys the world that i had just mentally described yeah i'd have to agree with that it, it def definitely clashes having you know regular you, you know army army ranks and then having like a obscure norse name after it just doesn't seem right to me is the only way i can put it i like i really like the norse theme that we had going it really makes this place unique i'm a part of a few communities that are a vague similarity to this and they all have their own little identity to it none of the ones that i ever stick with ever are just kind of generic and i'd hate to see wa become like i wouldn't call it generic at all but like moving towards more what everybody else is doing this has always felt like quite a unique place to be a part of and uh you know uh i'd like to continue having it that way i think is the best way to put it yeah so that's just my opinion i know it doesn't really like say i think the rank should be this but it's just the way i view wa it's the way i've always viewed wa ever since i joined what about uh, when we had the naval ranks though I actually didn't look at the ranks uh, back when we had naval ranks as really what our ranks were. When, if that makes sense, <laughs> me saying this now, it doesn't really make sense. But uh, when I was looking at it back then, uh, it didn't really like it. I didn't really like it in terms of like we were Nordic yet fleet based. It just. But, you know, it was what it was, and from my point of view, it was always what it was. So, you know, and it's not like I could have changed anything or even had a solution to what to change it to or even thought to change it. I wasn't really someone who uh, thought about that stuff when I was first joining. If I were able to think about it back then now, the way, like, of a possibility of changing it, then, yeah, I would have, you know, talked to Dane and tried to or rather go up the chain of command to try to see if we could try to swap the roles to or the ranks to match the theme i think that's what i think he was getting a key thing is that maybe back in the day the ranks didn't actually mean much and the fact that this rework will mean the ranks actually mean something means that because the ranks actually have substance if they have a different theme from wa in general then suddenly it will feel like a serious clash because uh, the ranking system as looking at it right now, Master Sergeants, Lieutenants, all of that, they have real power and that rank has real responsibility. But I don't think any of the ranks have other than Knight currently. I think the ranks back then, to me, all they meant was a higher position in WA. Yeah. And because people were demoted and promoted so often, it did mean something to be the leader, but it didn't feel at all good yeah, I mean, I felt something to be in charge of these certain people and being so involved with the people. But the ranks themselves, you're, you're right, they didn't actually mean anything to me at all. Because it was just a it was just a name for a rank of responsibility, a rank of a community that I appreciated and cared for. And that I led over people who were a part of that community and would quote unquote respect me. Yeah. I say that quote unquote. <laughs> quote unquote. No, allegedly respect me. <laughs> that was the ideal scenario. I'm just gonna pull up the handbook again. I wanna see the exact part where it starts getting responsibility. I believe it's Sergeant is when things actually start mattering. But yeah, Basically, again, yeah, back to my point yeah. is that I don't really have like a say in personal preference and I want this to be these ranks. I just, I feel that if we were to change the ranking system that would destroy my mental image of what the lore view through my eyes of what WA is, it would just kind of feel bad for me. I mean, we've already changed it a couple of times in the last couple of years, if the current one is the one you're talking about, that you're attached to? Uh, the current one is not what I'm attached to. Wait, so what are you about? talking about? The ranks were always, like, in some way, 
trying to inspire Norse, and that's all that I was requesting. Ah. So wait, when you mean current ones, like do you mean the ones that are gonna like be? All right, maybe I'm not reading this right. But you, when you say current ones, you mean the uh, ones that we have right now that haven't been changed, right? Yeah, they they still follow a Nordic theme. Yeah, and but that's not what you said. You weren't. If this isn't your preferred method, though. No, I mean uh, as to like what the ranks are going to be changed to after uh, all these changes are done, if we were uh, to go away from Nordic. Yes, I, I I think Nordic is a good thing to keep to for a uniqueness. I'm just gonna have to read through all of these wings in Squadron. I, I've been meaning to read through them uh, more in depth. I've been quite busy with all my reading, but uh, I'm not sure about them. Dividing into two wings. Like, what are the wings supposed to do? Like, what are they supposed to represent? Other than just dividing it in half. What, what are, like, a wing supposed to be doing things? Like, special wing stuff? Well, I mean, they can compete against each other for, you know, like, in tournaments or whatnot. Like, teams might create, be created just from a wing. I mean, the main goal is just to be divided. Or houses, I should say. The problem with houses is that because they're hereditary, they're very weird. Like, like there's not really anybody in Divinity that could lead like a house space division. It's basically all commander, and then like Dane and Kilroy are just like empty, so it's very be kind of odd. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. What about f uh, family then? Like Jolming and um, Ling, whatever the Solite one is pronounced. I can't read that personally. <laughs> I suppose they are a little bit uneven. Um, I don't know, it just seems like... Family-based um, stuff and house-based stuff is really heavily tied to the, uh, to the, uh, recruiters the, themselves, rather than it is tied to the, to the people. I'm just, I'm just reading into the Wings of Squadrons, and I'm just not seeing the purpose I believe, I believe it's just to, them. I believe it's just to create a divider slash, um, like, identification. I feel like it's a way to, um, yeah, identification and also, like, leading, like, actually having people responsible to somebody. In the current system, nobody's really responsible, like, I'm not directly subservient to, like, a specific knight. I suppose I am now because I'm a squire of a knight, but when I was just a raider, there was nobody that was directly superior to me other than, of course, Supreme Leader. So, I could see having, establishing a chain of command. But, um, I don't know, I mean, wings and squadrons might be good to have somebody so that, um, so knights are, like, actually responsible for individual members, um, so, like, EO is responsible for, let's say, 10 lower rank, theoretically. And then if those lower rank guys ever had a problem, they'd know that EO was the specific knight who was specifically responsible for their needs, and they'd go to him, and he'd listen to them, and he'd help them out. And then if it required, like, going further up the chain of command, the EO would move up the vest, and, and so on. But I don't see any purpose to it other than that chain of command system. And it feels like squadrons and wings are, like, too hardline, if I may. It seems, like, too decisive. Instead of just saying, like, you guys are, uh, you guys, this one nighter is responsible for this group of people. I don't know. I'm just trying to see the spirit of like why these were created, and I'd assume it was because of the reason I just pointed out there. But I don't know who created the wings and squadrons. Uh, I mean, I did basically. So, what was in in your mind when you were creating them? Like, what did you want to see? Well, we need a way to keep track of people, a way to like, like I said earlier, like to make sure that people aren't getting left out, like. So if you divide into small subunits like squadrons, then somebody can have a responsibility to, to game with and keep track of the activity level and like of all the people in that squad. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I can see why that would be put in, but um and then so you have squadrons and then wings and then supreme leader. Um hmm. I can I can see the benefit. I don't know, when I've dealt with stuff like this in the past, we uh, split into like different platoons because 
when it came down to it, one guy couldn't keep a hold of like 40 people. So we had to split it into two. And I don't know whether we have that same issue in WA currently. Perhaps if we get more organized, that issue will appear and then we might need to rectify it. But I don't know if currently we even have that issue. I don't know. I, I wouldn't be able to say because I've not been in a that was that the same position for long, so I would. That was the know, same. That was the same. Um, same thing that I brought up when Vess was asking, did we make uh, two wings or three wings? Because of the fact that three wings was just an unnecessary amount of uh, numbers for the amount of people that there are, and the, the two wing system would allow for like, I believe it was like thirty other people to join before we would need to expand based on the. Like the yeah. requirements of them. Because I can see wings and squadrons would be useful in like a game. If we were playing a game that required like leadership and in a squadron based role, say, you know, I'll use the example I've used was like NW, which was uh, Mountain Blade Warband uh, NW, where, you know, uh, people went around as lines of infantry and there would be an officer and they'd command the line to move out in certain areas, like to fire, to engage in melee, and all of that. But I don't know if we have a game that requires that kind of um, leadership or requires that kind of um, division of leadership so somebody doesn't get overwhelmed trying to command a 40-man line. I, you know... I feel like Wings and Squadrons, like... We will maybe rework the houses into them, then keeping a flavor to it? I don't know. Because it would make sense that, like, in a house, if you're, like, I'm Kamandur, so if I have an issue, I should bring it up with my, um, like, house lead, because he should be responsible for me, right? I mean, that makes sense. So I'd identify who that would be, and I'd go to them and ask, hey, I'm having some issues. But as you pointed out, um, you feel like Diffity doesn't have that kind of um, person to go to, and, like, the other houses are almost non-existent. Perhaps that entails, like, a subtle reworking of house houses to make that system work better? Because I really like the house system. It, it, it's cool, it's unique, it's fun to read through everybody in the Discord list and see, like, oh, you know, this is red, this is blue, this is, like, dippity, this is coming, oh, look, there's a green one in there, who's he? Like, um... Well, the house system wasn't really meant to be anything more than, um... <laughs> like a line of lineage that's that's basically what it's supposed to be of you were recruited by this person and just shows the lineage charts of how everyone else is connected to the to the founding member dane who started this all everyone's lineage can be traced back to jane back to dane but they seem to have a very prominent role though mainly because they're, you know your color is based on your house which is a very it's like almost as prominent as you can get on this board is arguably commander or the Nadling family can and can't say that though. Wait, what did you say? I wouldn't say it's prominent based on the the color of one's name. I think it's just a. Well, it's the first thing anybody who joins this server will notice is that these people are divided based on something. If you didn't know anything, it's like oh, you'd eventually figure out one side was Dippity, one side was Camando. You wouldn't know what that meant, of course. You'd have to ask about houses. But so it's you... very prominent, very. Um, like divisive when like you when you see it it's very prominent so do you think that it should be changed to uh, if the houses were to stay as they were do you think it should be changed to the color system scheme to represent squadrons or would, wings rather I would think that would make sense if we were going to if if as you say houses are just a lineage thing then they shouldn't be so prominent compared to Squadrons and wings, which would actually be denoting responsibility. The only sense that houses ever had in the past, and this is just to give you a complete rundown on what houses were like in the past back when they had more purpose than what they currently have. Uh, back in the past, houses used to have knights that um, that performed duties based on what house they were part of, like house knight order that they were part of. And so there was uh, Jarls and, or not Ar Jarls, uh, Earls and Lords to reign over their families. And the Lord to reign over the house. The Lord to make any changes to the house of like, to assign what knights go to do what. Earls to 
quote unquote lead the family to be uh if there was any ever like any other decision to be made about a like a family dispute or if there was ever kind of like a in-house war or even just for something like a Liatling coat of arms or a Sindar coat of arms or something that's yeah. what the earl would do it's not really you know the most glamorous of roles but earls were also everyone who was an earl and a lord were supposed to be knights so they all had their own knightly duties that they were supposed to do like for example rangers from house dane were supposed to be like spying on people and like infiltrating other clans or whatever and and white knights would do basically whatever dane told them to do and, and such so the knights and was the big thing about houses aside from the fact that there were also house wars to either a just spark a competition between huge parts lineage parts of uh the clan basically families like huge families going to war against each other for fun sport and slash or a purpose like when the commander and kilroys went to war over who would get the natlings yeah because or... that sounds that's super unique and very yeah. interesting and i and it's whenever this is purely perhaps because i'm studying politics right now but i it's i whenever i look online and there's all six knights online i notice there's a perfect split between deputy and commander and, and I, know so, that's, I know that's completely arbitrary and completely coincidental, but I always think of like, oh, well, there's got to be house politics, right? You know, each house are trying to vie for uh, power. Of course, that isn't true, but that's what I think of when I see them. I don't know if that's yeah. something we'd actually want to do, but um, I like It would be cool, thing. but the yeah. problem with it is that the houses are so mismatched, is that Commander usually has a lot more people than we do. But yeah. the place the Dippity and Commander usually place on the rankings in terms of the games that they played on were usually always completely like separate. Uh, back on StarCraft, it was different because everyone usually played the same maps, or at least, uh, or at least there was a third and a fourth house to compete against. So it was never mismatched like this. But uh, when ever since we moved to League, Dippities have always been more known to have like higher ranked players and. Uh, people who are in the gold and platinum elo as well. Ninety-five to ninety-nine percent of all commanders were in bronze and low silver. So it was I'll just... have you know I was uh, middle silver. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, please correct yourself. <laughs> uh, challenge in my heart, obviously. But, uh, I, I said have... I say was. This is yeah, before was. you joined, but uh, yeah, before I know... let the change, commander will guys. <laughs> like I'll we have had you no know always... beat plats on the daily. But, but we always think... had this like mismatch of Dippities were always a higher rank and then commanders were always a lower rank. Danes didn't play on this game. On other games like World of Tanks, Dippities were completely outmatched. A lot of commanders had a lot of higher tiered tanks and a lot more experience. There were a couple Dippities and a couple commanders who are outliers, most certainly. People like Paramber and Arctis who are high, like diamond level players and uh, people like I think Dimitri and uh, I can't remember any others, but uh, but I no, don't remember I mean, a lot of people from one of the tanks. I think, yeah. I think like what he is describing sounds like a lot of fun having some conf uh, conflicts, some rivalries within the house, uh, within the houses, within WA itself, because then that would be. I mean, I'm always a fan of competition. Some people might not be, which I must point out. You know, we might need to keep that in mind. But what Eo described there sounded super interesting. And yeah, the the conclusion that yeah, the houses are totally mismatched right now. So squads would make sense to have a new kind of way of sorting each other out. And theoretically, they'd be vaguely balanced. Um, so maybe we could identify via squadrons. Or maybe we just um, rename, like, houses. Maybe, I don't know how radical we're allowed to be here, but maybe we could get rid of the whole... Um... Actually, no, I suppose that would be a bit too far. But I'd like squadrons to be unique, not just squadron A, B, and C. You know, if the squadrons had unique names and there were, like, cool stuff about them, I feel like they'd eventually overtake house loyalty, which is pretty much zero at this point, mainly because they don't do much. You mean so. kind of like uh, take our ideals from the house wars, kind of move them over to squadrons? In yeah. this way, it could be a lot more... That would be a lot better because it of the fact cool. that we only have two houses who are the primary houses, and yeah. then the squadrons, you got, like, 
I didn't make a unique coat of arms for all the squadrons, and they all have mottos and stuff. See, that that's cool, see? I don't think wings are necessary, though. I don't think we have enough people for wings. I, I think competition would be better if, say, we have six knights. Theoretically, let's say we have six squads headed up by one knight. This is all theory-based. But that would be pretty interesting to both... Like, that would denote responsibility. Every person in the squad would have a knight to go and complain to at some point. And it would mean that the squads would be well separated from each other and all have varyingly equal power because it'll be led by this somebody of equal rank. And then we could identify with squads and have like kind of um, like squad loyalties. That would be cool, but uh, like where would we draw the line where it's like it's too much like squads of their own separate clans to WA? It's like, I don't know. I was getting all giddy thinking about, oh, squads, that would be cool, I'd have some people to compete with, I'd have some people to hang out with, but then I realized that kind of goes in the face of what I was saying earlier, where I feel like WA should be more united than more divided. I don't know. I think I as long as we just stop at the the house wars, or I guess in the, the terms would be in the future, if this were implemented, squadron wars would be not like a a monthly thing or anything like that be like a rare event that we would occasionally do but but it, then it would it, be um... enough would be enough of time like difference between each event that it wouldn't separate people yet it would still give people that like inner person like inner pride in their squad or yeah. whatever. i suppose like, i mm, what because we never really held house wars all the time like it was a really rare event like back when starcraft was about to die off we had like maybe seven house wars total out of the eight years we were around but so I, like I... once a year is a pretty long time to wait but i mean it's a pretty reasonable time frame to not separate us uh... yet still have that as an event to look forward to i feel like uh, we're all throwing out some interesting ideas here. Do we really have an idea of what we want to become in the future? Because uh, um, if we want to become uni more united, then I think squads would be a bad idea. But if we want to encourage this kind of competitive competitism, I believe there's an answer there from go. that for that from <laughs> most of the knights in the all thing. Okay, well then I'll have to go and uh, search for it. But um, because I've only recently joined, I don't know what you guys' overarching plans are. But there's, it seems like a lot of ideas are being thrown out without any clear, like, end goal. And I, li I love the debating of making new things, but I've done it so many times to realize that if you don't actually have uh, a vague idea of what you want your ending to be, you're never going to reach it. You're always just going to be messing around in the middle section. Always we trying to change it. things there. So let now me I think about it. How we far talked about it a little bit ago. in terms of uh, whether we wanted to be casual or whether we want to be competitive. Uh, you can kind of like, like use that to help you find out what people said that their envisionment of WA into the future was. Uh, to, I'm like, gonna look help up competitive, uh, and I'll, I'll look through it because I, I just don't know uh, what you guys. Maybe you guys should pa p uh, publish a manifesto. <laughs> then, then we know exactly what we'd be working for. Welcome, and then, Dan. Again, I is... might be the only one out of out of the loop right now because I just joined. Well, you like could to, say I'm, I am too, because I, I've ignored a lot of it due to the spam I've received from the all thing. I, I'd like to help out with this kind of stuff. This stuff is super interesting to me personally. And I think that the squad idea, if we want to impo uh, impose, encourage competition, I think the squad's idea would be a really good idea. And I think you should um, dissolve, well, not dissolve, but put squads up to the highlights, especially on Discord with coloring and just have each squad would have their own color because that would be immediate you'd notice it immediately hey this guy is blue he's a part of squad blue hopefully would have a better name those guys report <laughs> to um, night blue leader also perhaps with a better name and, red uh, red leader yellow yeah, leader, red leader, gold blue leader. leader. <laughs> but like having squads like that i think that would be really cool that could really encourage some um like encourage people to hang out with their squad and then maybe once we get people to start hanging out with their squads, maybe then we can decide, hey, let's do, you know, squad wars or some sort of squad com big competition, which 
while dividing WA into squads, would unite WA in all getting together and trying to see who's the best squad. That wanna... sounds really cool. I'd really like to be a part of that in the future. I don't know if that's what we're actually aiming for, though. But I would I'll like to point to... out, Vest, yeah. that Pennon has a stopwatch and the Zanyas. You guys playing a game together <laughs> yeah, and doing this, dude? No, he's he's playing a game while speaking to the, or while streaming it, so there's people have something to watch, I guess. But uh, paying a hundred percent attention to this riveting conversation. Well, actually, many of the knights recommended that there be games played while it's going on, because otherwise, they said it would be too boring. Ouch! Who uh, who recommended that? It's not really something that you would want to look at is, of the fireside chat constantly, so I don't mind it. It's like it hearing those people talk about yeah. It's like hearing those people talk on League about like how to climb and rank or whatever. You're, you're like you're seeing gameplay in the background. It's not specific towards anything yeah. or advice, but it's something to look at the background. And, and play a game and still answer complex clan questions. Well, then you're a fucking genius. <laughs> so you know. I don't find it at all hard to concentrate on League while talking. Oh, man. Walking and shooting gum. <laughs> But, um, I scroll too far from this whole thing chamber. I don't, I don't, do I don't actually timers? mind. <laughs> I don't actually mind. Well, I look at it and then I keep a mental time frame of when. So, like, I don't look at the time exactly. But, like, let's say I flash after uh, someone else and, like, I flashed about 20 seconds after someone else, right? If I want to know when their flash is, I look at my flash to, as, a, like, a determination. So, I keep, like, other things like that as a time frame. And if I don't have a time frame like that, then I just try to remember the time, and I'm usually accurate about it. Anyway, so I wouldn't mind changing the Discord colors to uh, to suit the squadrons, but um, again, would, like yeah. to get people's opinions on where they see WA in the future. Like you could even ask Kuzi on his opinion because uh, he may have given his, or the, if not, uh, any what is your what is your space, what is space, your, space uh, Vikings? <laughs> no, no. What is your before, vision uh, of WA in the future? Like just vision. before he, just before he says that, I just want to interlude. Just, just sorry. There's just be about. I'll let you talk. But I just want to point out with the squad things. Um, I don't think we should have wings because there's not enough of us for it. I feel like having many small um, groups, it would be more competitive than just having two big groups. I think that would be better, better than to have wings. All right. Yeah. Go ahead, Kuzi. Um, well, so I've been eating, and I've been half listening, and I was late to the party, so forgive me if I missed most of this. Uh, uh, in terms of wings, I mean, I could go either way with wings. I, I just feel like the whole... I like the idea of swans, because it's very interesting. It's tactical. It's perfect. I mean, you call it which one. You've got a, you got a, a couple friends, you know, that's what that is. And it, but the wings just seems out of place. And you say, okay, here's an alliance of squads that banded together. You know, say it's XYZ team or XYZ tribe, and they're fighting so and so. So you can do like house wars like that, or squad wars like that. Um, that way, it's not always like, oh, Diffie's the best as much as they are versus Commander or whatever. Um, you know, because some houses are bigger than others. Um, and um, likewise, I don't think we should. Solely on family because then only those families will be not necessarily, but I could see it where the big families will just continue to be big and the small families will continue to be small. You kind of need everyone mixed up so like everyone has a shot at like snagging or recruit, you know, so we can maybe revive people. Hopefully, you know, revive like I don't know, beat all the around. Um, anyway, future like. Space Viking. I'm, I'm all for Space Viking. Space Viking sounds dope. What would that, what that mean, Marines, But, like, more badass, because we don't use guns. We use space bows and space axes. Just I'm a space lot for... Me. I'm a lot for land Vikings. Well, like... I like yeah. Space Vikings what is, what is What is... What is it... How does it change anything? If we were Space Vikings, what would that mean? Um, well, I still think we need to parody... We'll say, 
StarCraft. Vikings, uh, with, with their ships, but instead it's gonna be like spaceships in the form of like Earth ships. I mean, it's gonna be novel and cliche, but it's gonna work. It's just adding to the to the RPL, you know. But at the same time, you can conceptualize Earth Vikings as we'll call them with space Vikings because everything's mirrored. So if I say, um, you know, there's uh, I got my uh, Best is the Space Viking Emperor. You know, <laughs> third game here, right? Um, but uh, but then you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm in this and this squad. Okay, that's the same. I you know I maybe um maybe instead of wings, it's like what ship do you belong to? Because I know there's some ship lore. I'm just going off the top of my head, guys. Feel free to take notes. Um, there's ship lore, and like each ship is meant and like known for something in battle, and you know. One is an attack ship and whatever, you know. Kind of along, like, how do the wings organize themselves? What do they play? What kind of members are in? Are they more RP based? Are they more futuristic? Are they more, like, competitive gamers? I mean, each wing can do something different. Instead, it's like, oh, I'm host to, uh, you know, the WA ship, uh, I don't know, make something up, right? But then within, well, yeah, because literally the picture is you're on a spaceship, but not like. You know, Enterprise spaceship, right? It, literally like an Earth imagine, ship. I, I picture imagine more like... Imagine a Viking pic boat floating around exactly, in space, unable exactly. to move, but still technically moving. But still moving, yes, exactly. I <laughs> don't uh, know, personally I picture a battle cruiser from StarCraft. It would be an idea if we could do, like, if we okay. want to keep... Space Viking as a theme would mean that we should, like, name things after it. Squadron, I don't think is an amazing or good name, but maybe crewman. To a specific well, ship that they get to name might be squadron neat. Numenor has a specific complaint against crewmen. Or squad as in people. He, I don't remember. Squad is in like a group of people um, with a knight leading them. Like the division what thing. What would you, you call that? In Norse? Like what is that? Your band, your tribe, your raid group. Raid group. I don't know. Uh, in Norse, you could probably find a lot of things. I don't have any off by off hand, but I think that if we did space, if we did it like on ships. It might be cool to have your own ship. I don't know, it's just a fort. Because well, I, I like... I think maybe yeah. the, the equivalent of a knight captain would be like the captain of whatever ship. So again, more lore, but also functionally basically the same. But you can think of it as, oh yeah, I belong to a ship. Instead of this wing, even though we're Earth Vikings, we're in wings, what? But it makes more sense if you're in space, you know, instead of a wing like planes, it's still ships. You know, just, I don't know, something of the aesthetic just still works. <laughs> Am I crazy here, or does it just work for you guys, too? I don't know. It doesn't work for me. No? Con, no. you kind of liked it? Hellstorm? Yes, what? So, uh, sorry, Sh I, ships I was... Space. Sh ships in space. Ships in space sounds cool. Yeah. I like yes. being... What does it mean is something to discuss. Sorry, like I'm also trying theme? to read through the old thing chamber and I've come yeah. across discriminatory stuff about me, so I'm I'm busy oh, reading. Oh, by all means. It's great. Uh, the theme the theme about space vikings it doesn't sound bad to me, but I it just sound it, it sounds futuristic most certainly, and it definitely sounds different than what uh, you would expect of a Viking. Well, and it add, sounds like it could add the, something, but it feels like it takes away something the, the, from the space the part. Viking. Well it's a continuation. And no, but like it feels like it takes away from what is already there. Well, like we're Vikings first. It's just hey, it's you know 2000 whatever. We now have Vikings in space. Okay, but so 2000 whatever off. would definitely change. Like people change over time. Cultures change over time. The Vikings culture is like pretty well substantiated as it is. But to be in space would like mentally to me require change. So it would at culturally change. They still raid, they still pillage, they're still on ships, they're still motley crews. They still what are they pillaging? Games? Like, that's your, your new sector, you're raiding, you know, leagues because, you know, troll Okay, everyone. so, in, you you heard about my description of what I what I envisioned WA to be, right? I might have missed that. Okay, so, yeah, no well, fun. here, you tell me what, how you would feel how you would feel you would mentally picture wa oh, if see. if you were uh in space right with the space vikings idea the way i picture wa is that we have a giant island 
and this island used to be the forums where everyone could congregate it was a safe haven no one was attacking us no like very rarely would we ever get a raid from enemy people who wish to do us harm and it would put the forums down or rather put our warriors out at busy fending them off i guess we so, gotta go attack the chinese they took our homeland so he couldn't yeah, you know we couldn't def- uh, really talk to each rule. other <laughs> we couldn't talk to each other because all of our warriors were out defending from these invaders in the same sense of the forums are down currently. We can't talk to everybody. We can't make any new posts. And coincidentally, the StarCraft channels being flooded would be the same ideal of the main hall is under attack right now. We can't currently, uh, we can't focus on talking to other people, even though you can read their messages, you can hear them, but you're so busy fighting off this horde of flood bots that you can't really have a, a meaningful conversation. Well, I'm going to stop you there and say we are the Raiders. We are not defending territory, right? Discord's like our communications network. And I'm just saying what I envisioned having- all of WA in a lot of situations that we've run into for the lore aspect of what those situations would have arisen to be. I'm not saying we're pure defenders. Now, let's say we were going to go play Diplo Infinity. That would be us going to that location on a different island of StarCraft. Like, the island oh. would be StarCraft in itself. We would be going out to that island, and then we go to the location of, like, let's say, let's use a different example this time. Uh, Desert Strike, right? Uh-huh. We would be going out and fighting other people to, whether we're pillaging them, whether we're uh, stealing goods, whether we're just running to people that we don't like or whatever, and we're right, or fighting off random monsters such beasts known as randoms. I'm heading off to watch Black Panther. I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Okay. Right, see you. But that's I always the... I need to do fairly soon. That's I'm always been here. the idea of what I envision WA to be is uh, games being their own, own island. Uh, dub, like Discord right now where like, we can always come over here to rest or just to to west, rest our weary bones to repair our armor and swords or whatever. Right. And gather up people to go raid. Well, then, AKA gather people up for league matches. I challenge you with a new notion. Uh, we are on in this Discord fleet, right? All right. We go out and we raid these other games and we return to the fleet. The fleet is moving. We move with the games. We're not a static island, you know, because so many people can join and leave you know, with the casual sort of gaming community out there. But you want to be part of the fleet. That is where the culture is. That's where you interact with people. That's where you get along. That's where you strategize and plan. And then you go out and do something. Sure, you meet people over there. Maybe you want to hang out over there more. That's fine. Maybe you bring people back to the fleet. Like, that's that's what I'm envisioning. You know, space fleet of Viking raiders going out, kicking ass, taking names, having fun. Yeah, that sounds good. Best burger keys up, but says nothing. <laughs> it's alt tabbing between some. Oh yeah, alt tabbing, right, right. Class. Yeah, whatever you say, dude. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing, space emperor vest. Supreme leader. When are you gonna make that official? By the way. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, in terms of direction, what else? Like, I think we should try to look for fun ways to incorporate culture. So, you know, if you really want to take part, that's fun. Go ahead. If not, you're like, all right, well, these things are called these things, and I know them by these names, and, you know, you can get along, and it's not a burden. But if you had to get into it, it's, you know, easy access and lower the reading, etc. Um, you know, the, the militarism stuff, like, right now we're pretty casual. Um that, that's a tough one because that might turn some people off. But uh, I, I think maybe there needs to be like a minimum standard. And then within, um, I, I said this in the offline earlier, but if like you're in your squad and you want to be like the cool squad and you're like doing all the sirs and mams and like salutes and stuff and like you go out and you're like super competitive and you know, you play to win, well, that can be you guys, right? So, you know, house tourneys come around, um, <clears throat> or squad tournaments come around, you can, you know, yeah. 
top top two competitive teams band up and just kick everyone's butt, or uh, you know, or not. I mean, but like you know who people are, so you can like say, oh, we want these people. You know, like if it's on a game you've never played before, and you're like, I don't know what Kuzi does. Is he a support in leagues? Who knows? Like, you know, he could be, you know, number one Leon in North America for all you know, or I could just be some schmuck. But, you know, if I play hard and I, you know, the squad's known for that, well, chances are we'll get along and, uh, you know, it makes makes the process easier. Now, most of us, you know, happen to play League, know everyone else who plays League, but I don't know. I mean, it's, it's fun if you play games that you're completely trash at. You know, even if you lose, you know, there's a chance. And, I mean, you could just be an alternate, too. If I'm really bad at, I don't know, Mech Warrior, my, my squad could join up with... Um, I don't know, Ath Squad or something, and, you know, his crew is, like, the primary crew, and then we just, like, back them up. Well, that's fine. You know, I can still cheer for them. Um, but then if you get a couple casual players, and, I don't know, they play, like, a card game, or, um, you know, it could be some cheesy browser game that is, like, super chill, like, with, like, all kinds of, like, rules and stuff, and they know them all, but, like, it's not an intense game. They might win, you know, it just depends on what you're playing. But I, I'd rather see that as more of a local thing with squads than, uh, like, top-down enforcement. Um, like I said, though, there should be a minimum, but uh, it shouldn't be, like, too high. Um, maybe, like, as you go up in rank, expectations go up, so, like, the common ranks can be pretty relaxed, but, you know, people who want to, you know, show their merit can take on additional roles and responsibilities and protocol and that kind of thing so it just depends i don't know we'll, we'll find a good good medium that kind of works for everyone what else we got on the docket well god i, I should i should have not started what i'm doing right now this is um, this is a terrible idea Illumina was right. You guys were talking about me like six months ago. Jeez, you know nobody. No. You could have just. You could have just like messaged me. You know. <laughs> Message you about what? About my you... attitude problems. Obviously. You might want to just keep going. <laughs> just, keep... <laughs> just keep going. Don't, don't worry about that. No, oh yeah, yeah that. No, I, I felt legitimately depressed when I saw uh, the December one where Vest was like, I think Elstorm was joking about wanting to be a squire. Sad. <laughs> Funny, obviously. Now, now he knows. I thought, I thought me pulling you aside and talking to you about it seriously might uh, change your views, but I suppose I was wrong. That doesn't matter. Well, I think I was like unsure at the time. I was like, I was like, <laughs> w was he joking about that or is he actually serious? And I, th I feel like somebody else told me, oh, I think he's joking, and that like convinced me. Fold said uh, I was joking. Oh, okay, yeah. It's, it's Fold said I thought he was joking. We, we don't sit down and talk like this now we are but like before like we just play games and joke and it's like a good time but like nobody i, I honestly couldn't give an opinion because i didn't know if you... hello hello what's up hey okay it wasn't me i thought my sound like blacked out oh no no that was uh noom joining no, I know, but like you just immediately stopped after he was joining, and yet your light was still lit up. So I was curious. Oh, okay. I just said hi. So. Well, uh. Anyway, um. Yeah. So. Uh, you could ask. You, you could ask Numenor right here. What is uh? What is grievance with? Is with Grumman? No, no, I hear you don't like crewmans. Do you got a problem with crewmen? What? No. Oh. Did you okay. say you had a problem with All crewmen? hype for nothing, Eo. How could you betray me like this? I feel betrayed because I, I feel he's I feel he's hiding his true feelings. Well, that's I feel like nice. I was basically given a Valentine's and then <laughs> said I just want to be friends. I feel your anger. Well, I, yeah, I do feel it as well, but I also need to, I have uh, work I actually do need to get back to. Didn't expect this to be an hour and 20 minutes, but it was lots of fun talking about this. I like this kind of thing. I'll definitely pop in. When, when is this normally done? I know that this is a, this is a... Normally this, this time on Thursdays is the usual. Okay. 
check. Uh, I know we don't need to like adherently stick to an ending time, but it would be nice to know like how long these things are supposed to generally last within like a reasonable Perhaps. distance of like let's say an hour, for example. That way we aren't. I mean, they usually go an hour, but I don't want to like cut people off. I mean, if anybody right. wants to leave after an hour, like that's totally fine. Do we have any? No, right. Uh, we should have like specific. Like, it would yeah. feel awkward if it were to like go on for two hours, three hours, and then people are like, "When is this supposed to be ending?" Jesus. Uh, I mean, they can leave whenever. When, that's that's when Numenor and his secret police start driving. Right, but an ending time would be like would be nice rather than because I would feel obligated to stick by around until the end because that's the kind of person that I am. How it doesn't oh, like I said. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to end after an hour. Like, it's strictly... Think, oh, sorry, guys. It's an hour. Let, get out now. Well, I think but, what uh, might be a good idea is that um, because this is a conversation and conversations will always meander around and it would take forever to finish it, like, I know I could keep talking about this forever if I didn't actually have pressing work I needed to do pretty quickly. Uh, maybe in the future we have, like, four topics before we go into it. That we, we just have to say, bottom line is we got to address all four of these topics during this d discussion, because I feel like these kind of informal discussions, you could get uh, lodged on one point and then talk about that point for about two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't have a direction. You just know, all right, yeah. well, this is something that we could talk about. It's something easy, and it's something that I still have things to say on, and we don't have any other specific agenda. So if, if it still merits it, why not keep talking about it? Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys have fun with the remaining of the conversation. I'll make sure to listen into the stream. Um, what is it? It's been an hour and twenty-five minutes ish. So Wait, I'll make sure I can on? listen to the rest of it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's you know this thing's still going on, but I must bid you adieu. So right. fun. Oh, so, uh, so what see was talked about today? <laughs> Many this keeps going on for ten hours, so that Eodor has to stay here. It was a lot of theme discussion. I think was was mostly people talking about like, well, there's a lot of like, like how people interpret like what we are like in the sense of like a fantasy world. Like Ao talking about how he views this as like medieval Vikings on an island and new games as being other islands. And I think Kusi was talking about us being space Vikings. Okay. Yeah, so I think themes was probably the biggest thing that we spent a lot of time discussing. Just hmm. keep saying space vikings. Eventually, it will catch on. I mean, I think that sounds. I mean, I like sky vikings. I like space vikings. I like regular vikings. I like a fantasy theme. I'd like a military theme. But I honestly think that they're all cool, and I just, I just want one that we can all agree on, which I think is never going to happen. <laughs> but it has to be specifically, basically, Earth Vikings in space, but like wearing obviously just like spacesuits, and like you have a ship that looks like a regular land ship but it's propelled through space, and you still use battle axes. It's like, wherever you can be a traditional Viking, you are. It's just the, the purest Viking you can adapted into space, and they just continue their lives as, like, nothing changed. They just don't care. It's just, okay, we're in space, we're doing Viking shit, eh, whatever, you know. I, again, it seems like a cool idea, and I'm not denying that it doesn't sound cool. Mm -hmm. It does sound cool, but it, to me, doesn't sound better. Or it doesn't, doesn't sound. It doesn't it sound doesn't more right. ideal. Or, my, my, are you guys suggesting we like implement something like that, like in like the stories or something? Like how would that even? How would that work? No, but that's it. Is that I? My thing is that I don't like it more than just the traditional land Vikings, which means that I wouldn't want it. And well, that's okay. And I mean, there may not be anything better than traditional land Vikings for the RP of this clan. But I'm just saying, like, it's different. You may not like it. I may like it. Who knows? Who cares? To each their own. Like, we'll just see what comes of it. And if, you know, heaven forbid you're in the minority AO, like, then you're like, okay, it's fine. I can deal with it. You can be, you can be that guy that's like, eh, you know, whatever. You know. But then if everyone else is like, yeah, that's great. Well, I'm sure you'll have a good time because they're having a good time. You know? I'm just throwing it out there as something... It, I know, I know. You, you said you were throwing it out there multiple times. How would how yeah, would we I'm implement sure. that, Kusi? Like, are you suggesting this this like be this be in like the rank names, or how would we how would we exhibit that uh, theme? Well, you know, maybe we could do something like uh, instead of squads, you could have like 
you break it up like if you wanted to RP as like land Vikings, you could just be like Vikings, or if you wanted to be like squad, you know, space Vikings, you could be in, like the space Viking army, you know, and you just split it up. Regular Vikings or space Vikings, and you have like two sets of Vikings each doing their own thing, right, in their own uh, uh, wings or you know at that level, um, and then you just spin off lore into each from each rather, and you just see what happens. I mean, is there just like interact. this? black period of like a th like a hundred years of nothing yeah, happening between... like, like there's no like from a lore standpoint now, but it just seems silly first. that land stop. vikings would what use else? like medieval weaponry and medieval uh equipment when they clearly have space travel mastered but but they like their battle axes <laughs> okay. I mean, hey, I mean, what, what about Warhammer Forty Thousand? You can have like a chain axe. You can have an electric axe. Yeah. You can have a magical exploding why fire does, axe made of yeah. adamantium. It's fine. Why does anyone use not use guns when there's like knives and stuff? You're like, you use because what you guns want to use. are loud and often illegal to kill others with, unless you're defending you your home. Then use a battle axe. Who's gonna take a battle axe with you? Hmm? But, uh... <laughs> okay, so. Since we let, had Co let Koozie have his fill, I honestly think we should just go straight with, like, a Warhammer theme where we, we're just all in the future. We don't go, like... The Dark 41st Vikings. Millennium. I, I don't know anything about Warhammer, but in general, it just seems like they have a good balance of exactly of what we should have also. Cause, like, we oh, have we can have chaplains that just preach the Emperor's word. Isn't that what QZ is already? I just want to run around screaming heretic. <laughs> <laughs> Burn the heretic. I'd be a, what is it, uh, Inquisitor or something. But that's how I think of it, because honestly, it makes a lot of sense. Like, we come from StarCraft. Me mech Warrior guys, you know, play Mech Warrior, so they also are, like, can be the ground forces. War of Tank guys can be ground forces if we still had them. League of Legend guys can be... Just some weird TV show. <laughs> in our A TV show. <laughs> yes. So welcome back to the it's, League Champions. It's, the, it's like the uh, the the Olympics for our. Quick, now cut to the. Group. For feeding and griefing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's a grief. Last off. time we met an <laughs> asshole Hecarim who was, quite frankly, a disgusting scum of the earth in a and twisted he got tree line three match. Nines for his. BM score. Quite a good score. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how he does with his second run here. He'll look to equalize that. Exactly. <laughs> and once again, with a gold medal sweep, the Yasuo <laughs> takes care of the entire competition. No one can match this guy. Amazing. Cementing a legacy of intentional feeding. <laughs> <laughs> Picking up an ace and a pentakill, he uh, repeatedly taunts his emoji and then runs into fountain. That's going well. <laughs> yeah, perfect yeah. form, just perfect execution, flawless. Yeah. I don't have a problem with crewmen. I have a problem with seamen, sir. Oh, okay. Sorry, that, that's my bad. Hellstorm was talking about uh, said something about crewmen. I actually don't even remember the full context of it, but uh, said something <laughs> about uh, crewmen. And it just dawned, or just reminded me of you saying something about crewmen slash seamen or, or something. Yeah, I, I prefer crewmen over the rank of seamen, because too many seamen jokes, sir. Yeah, I never like to say that rank <laughs> out loud <laughs> whenever we were in Ventrilo. It's just something I never wanted to do. <laughs> Well, anyways, it seems like we're mostly done here, right? Like, yeah, we could to... probably conclude the stream unless you guys want to throw anything else out there last minute. WA is I hate Evelyn. Yeah, definitely... <laughs> anything else? WA is definitely a cult. <laughs> okay. We've got oh, some... Yeah. Space We've waves? Got some great, uh... Great opinions here. Weebs in so, space. So lights the WA pulp. 
<laughs> no, he's he's a heretic. I mean, only <laughs> only only our our Lord and Savior Vesborger is the one and true Emperor Pope. But he's not the Emperor Pope. He's the Emperor God. So like, oh. is his you mean pope. the God Emperor? Are you, are you, are you the Savior of mankind? Be the Pope as well. Hmm? Sounds like some blasphemy to me. Hmm. I don't know. It's my job to burn people at the stake here, so... Burn yourself. Nah, I'm gonna burn you. He didn't start the flame war. Alright, I guess I'll conclude the stream then. Thanks you guys for showing up, and thanks anybody watching. This concludes the Fireside Chat number four.